Well, two more retailers have turned their backs on the Trump brand. Just days after Nordstrom and ne Neiman Marcus dropped Ivanka Trump's line, Sears and Kmart announced that they will be dropping the Trump line as well. So is this a business decision or is it a political decision? Here to weigh in on this is Aaron Elmore, a former Trump spokesperson. Thank you so much, Aaron, for joining us. Business decision or political decision? So clearly a political decision, and it's absolutely ludicrous. Ivanka Trump is not only a good role model for young girls, she's a successful entrepreneur. It's just so sad that they're making this decision based upon politics. And you know what else I think, Ainsley? This is such a bias against Republicans. If this was Sasha or Malia Obama, what do you think would be happening right now? Absolutely nothing. Yeah. Ivanka does not deserve this. She's not the one running for office. She's simply creating a brand that she can identify with the people, and instead she's getting pulled. So it's really Really, really, really a shame. I know you were on Apprentice. You are close with the family. Tell the folks at home what you know about this family and, and how close you are with Ivanka. Well, Ivanka is a really lovely individual. I've spent a lot of time with her one on one, traveling around the swing state of Pennsylvania, where I'm from. And she was connecting and talking with voters on such a deep level. She truly cares about the American people. And as we know, she spent a lot of time developing her father's child care, elder care, and school choice policies. And I've always said about all of the children look how they're living their lives. They're, many of them are married with children, they all work in business. A lot of children, when your parents are very wealthy, you see the kids not doing so much. Mm -hmm. These kids have never spent one day as a tabloid headline. They're all such amazing, humble, and successful children. So good for them. And what does that tell you? They were raised well by a good man. Well, Erin, how badly does she need the profits from this business? Because, you know, a lot of people look at their family and they say, the dad's a billionaire. She doesn't really need the money. But you're a working woman. I'm a working woman. I know that I need my paycheck. How badly does she need it? I'm sure it doesn't hurt for her to have a paycheck. And I, I've sort of said as, as the silver lining in all of this, good. Now she can spend more time in Washington focusing on making her father's presidency even better and helping women not only just in the United States but abroad. So you know what? I'm going to take the silver lining approach and say this is a blessing in disguise. Now Ivanka can be seen as this amazing force in her father's presidency, making America truly a better place for not just women but families and everyone across the country. Erin, why all the vitriol? Why the hate from the left when it comes to the Trump family? You know, it's very, very sad. I think this is a very contentious time and a very contentious election, and they're so angry and so bitter. We've all seen what goes on on Twitter and social media. The comments that I've gotten alone from, from liberals, it says, you know, that you're the, they're the ones that are supposed to be compassionate and kind, right? That only works when you agree with 100% of what they're saying. Mm. So it, it's very ironic, almost, that they would say our president is this and that and not, not very nice things. Well, you know, it's kind of ironic. They're the ones that are really lashing out. So, so much for inclusion and um, diplomacy here. They're, they, want to, they want to preach tolerance, but they're not tolerant when it comes to her. Thank you so much, Erin, for being all. with us. We appreciate it. All right, the Academy. media. The media